Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, we are making a fall inspired tea display with mainly Dollar Tree items and these beautiful teas. So let's get started. Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? So, I got this beautiful little mini tray at the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love it. I was going to do a resin piece on this, but instead, I was very much inspired by tea and the fall is coming. So, I'm using this gorgeous deep green. I'm thinking herbs, browns, greens, and I'm using that color to highlight. So, I'm using those. Um, I'm actually going to add another color, and this is some of my beautiful tea that I have lavender milk thistle got some green ginger and some sweet cinnamon and a whole new box of these beautiful teas by Taylor's of Harrogate so I am gonna make and I love these flowers look at these beautiful colors this is what inspires me very earthy I'm thinking herbs teas I'm thinking something very earthy so first I want to take you over to my beautiful herb garden that I created yes you can have an herb garden in New York City and then we're gonna get started with the project so guys, I just wanted to share this with you. This is my beautiful basil and my aloe. Yes, it's on my fire escape. Um, it's where I dry my herbs. Some beautiful begonias. I even have a light out there, a solar light. I have two types of sage and peppermint, tons of peppermint. I even have lavender more begonias I even have tomatoes and peppers growing back there and I'm just in love with this I did this over the quarantine and this was since April and I am just in love with my garden and there is the lavender right there I love my lavender and this smells so beautifully I just wanted to share this with you my little fall sign actually from the Dollar Tree as well and I just love this. I just wanted to share this part of myself with you guys because this is what inspires me um, planting and growing things. And so that's why I want to make a tea display today in honor of the season. So we are going to get started with this beautiful project. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed my New York City herb garden. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, guys, so basically I just did one coat. It's still wet, as you can see. I did that gorgeous, like, darker rust color on the sides and that beautiful deep green inside and all over. So I want to do another coat, two coats. And then I am, yeah, these are the two colors I use, that beautiful brown and that gorgeous deep emerald green. And to highlight, I'm using that light green and that, like, lighter orange color, okay? And what I did was I took two large um, wooden sticks. I hot glued them together because we, I'm gonna, we're going to paint that as well, of course. And we are actually going to make a divide. Now, you can use this tray. You can do coffee and tea, like um, pods, coffee pods. You could do decaf. So we're going to paint that. We're going to place that in. And we're going to add some embellishments. And you can use this tray for anything. I got see these gorgeous sunflowers we're going to add. I even have these beautiful wooden flowers because I want to bring that wood look back to contrast on the brown and the green and we're going to use one of these guys to kind of give it a little sparkle okay and I, may, I have this beautiful little clip it's literally a chalkboard clip and so if you want to put coffee on it you could put 
beads. Now, I found these as well. I was going to use this and hot glue it to the back for a sign, but those are too big. So, I'm using these old guys as well. Again, from the Dollar Tree, you get four for a dollar. They are adorable. I love that. So, I am going to do another coat of paint, and I love these are all my teas. We're going to add these guys. So, I'm going to do another coat. So I am just painting, like I said, I hot glued already two um, wooden sticks, craft sticks. Again, these I got these at the Dollar Tree, I believe. And I'm just putting the lighter green and the darker green together, kind of mixing it, giving some texture. And we're gonna do both sides really quick, get into those grooves. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna see what I do to kind of fill up those grooves after it's all painted and yeah so i'm doing a couple of coats here just to obviously cover up all the wood and like i said you can use this for like let's say one side it could be decaf tea the other side it could be um caffeinated tea and you could use this all year round i was basically inspired obviously by the fall but you can have this all year round. It doesn't have to be for fall. So now I'm just like kind of adding some highlight, some texture. I'm dragging it over the uh, darker green um, just to give it a little texture, a little highlight, and a little contrast. I'm just doing that on the sides and all inside. And these paints are really great. Um, I actually just did one coat of the dark green and now I'm just going over it with the lighter green just to give it that beautiful highlight and texture. And I'm really, really loving the way this is looking. And like I said, I was inspired by these beautiful colors of the tees. So now I'm just doing the inside on the uh, what the heart is. And just getting all the little spots that I did not get just to give it a quick little highlight. So now, everything is painted, and I hot glued it. It literally, those, those sticks fit perfectly. And I painted the sides, I gave it a little highlight. I'm gonna do the, uh, the uh, bottom later. So, because I want this to dry first. So, now we are going to add the wooden pieces. And you can use anything you have. You could actually use maybe real flowers if you wanted. Maybe some dried herbs or anything you want to embellish this. If you have beads, you could do that. Whatever inspires you. So I'm just doing the other side. I'm going to get another piece. Whoops, that hot glue gun does not want to stay still. All right, so I got that guy down. And I got plenty of glue strings to take off. All right, so... And you could add more of the wooden pieces if you want. You can add them all around. Whatever you have to embellish it. You can use leaves. You can use uh, fake leaves, fake flowers. So now we're going to add the sunflowers. Now those sunflowers had a little uh, wire to them. So I just cut that off. And again, more glue strings to take off. And we're going to do the other side now. All right, get that other sunflower, stick that right on. And so that's gonna be the front. So you need to look straight down where the sunflowers is the front. And I'm sorry, I'm taking up all those ridiculous glue strings, so many of them. So that is done. And actually I'm going to add more um, wooden pieces because it just looks a little too plain for me so i'm just gonna add two more on each side and getting off more glue so all right here's a little t sign whoops as usual i'm dropping stuff so i may not put that back there but uh we'll figure that little t sign out later and we're gonna put it um, actually there just for now just so I don't lose it and pop off so now we're gonna take this beautiful nouveau glitter paste right on my finger and I am just going to tap it on just to give it a little highlight a little sparkle right on the top there just where the sunflowers are <clears throat> 
and I think I need some tea right now, my throat. And then I am actually going to use this because it is like a paste. I'm going to try and fill in all of the gaps in the wood, the wood sticks. And it, again, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if you want to like do beading down the center of the wooden sticks, that's an option. You could decorate any way you want. And again, you don't have to do the, the divide. I just thought of it last minute. I thought it was a really great idea. Like I said, you could do coffee and tea. You can do coffee pods on one side. You could do tea on the other. You could do use, um, put little, you know, beading, anything you want. Anything you want in here, but I am doing tea. I'm going to put this in my kitchen afterwards. And that's what it looks like so far. And let, I'm going to let this dry for a bit. And we're going to continue to embellish. All right, guys. So this is the last step. We have filled up our tea our tea bin with all our teas we got the sign i figured that out and i added some more beautiful wooden embellishments on the side i think that looks wonderful i put the tea sign in the front and this actually has quite a bit of room in it that way you can actually see this little sign and these guys are a little bit too big because I did that centerpiece there. So you can just fold the sides of the bigger um, tea bags and just pop them in that way. And now it fits in perfectly. And there's quite a bit of room in there. If you stand them up, you could actually fit maybe 40 or 50 bags of tea there. And the last thing is to actually enjoy a cup of tea taking a sip and it is absolutely delicious and I just love this project I thought it came out beautifully and has this beautiful rustic look to it so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you really enjoyed my project today and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I really love to have you here and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and I'll see you in the next one bye